Hey guys, what's up? I'm the Spyro Tree, and welcome back to our episode of our Pokemon X and Y playthrough. In the last episode, we made it all the way here to Dandemil a little bit early, and then we backtracked and did the routes before. First off, in this town, we can buy Mumu Milix, and I'm telling you, buy them. For now, we're still about like 100 HP in on most mobs, so I'll just pay a dozen. They're very, very cheap to get, they're very useful. Uh, so yeah, that'll be that'll be nice. Uh, let's explore this town just a tiny bit more though, because there are some items and some buildings that we can have some interest in. Uh, not there, obviously, since we do need to go to the right, I think, to get that area or get that item. There's a move deleter as well and the move relearner. Frost cavern. Late blow. Jesus. Big root. All right, that's nice. That's nice. We got a big root. That's uh, to increase energy draining moves, I'm pretty sure. And now let's go up. Got this lady. Rotation battles are on Quindle. So, she's talking about rotation battles. It's been like ages since we've. Uh, ages since we've seen or heard that. This is Black and White, and Black and White was a while ago. It was a really long time ago, Black and White, since I played that on the channel. Pretty sure that was like one of the first games I played. I'm pretty sure actually, like Jesus. Feels like forever. I think we have one more house here to explore. Right, or then maybe multiple. And make smaller. So Gorgeist. Oh yeah, Gorgeist is a very special mom. Has different sizes. And there's one more house actually. And the TMs. I don't have the TM for struggle book. Facade! And we get TM42 Facade. A very good T uh, very good move actually. If you get a status on you, paralyze, burn, or uh, poison, you actually get a crazy damage boost with that move. It's insane. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's explore a bit more. Up north. Frost Cavern. And uh, we have a trainer to begin with, alright, did not expect to see a trainer already. Kinda of forgot there was one, to be fair, in this outside area. And we have Vibrava, alright, so we have Vibrava in the front. Corrosive is out in the front, because he has the lucky egg on him. And, um, I'm just going for a surf, you know. Earth power, poison. Do eat it, kind of. Uh, let's uh, surf. Just quite a lot of damage. Unfortunately, we don't kill him. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the hell out of here. And um, I think I'm gonna go predict the Earth Power and then we'll just uh, beat him real quick and outspeed him with Tempest. And Sandstorm, alright, that's, that's, that's quite annoying. I also forget, forgot to do one thing, um, and that is to turn off the experience share. I'm gonna turn it off again for just a tiny bit. Um, because. Well, we're getting a bit over leveled, to be honest, and I don't wanna be too, too over leveled for everything. So, uh, after this battle, right here, I'm gonna turn it off again. Let's see here. Let's, uh, first off, let's use one of those Moomoo Milks, shall we? And uh, go back to back. Didn't want to leave that yet. And uh, let's turn off the experience share again because we're all nice at 48. Pretty sure the next gym is not until quite a while. Um, no, no, it's actually pretty, pretty soon coming up. But we do have, I think it's level like 49 or something like that. Even the ace, so that's not. I think we might even be over that as well. I, I can't remember, bro. I know it's at the end of the 40s. Are you added to the Frost Cavern Trainer? This map is fine here, usually you can't get enough of people get, uh, giving people rides on Route 17, but th these days it seems to be too worried about something in the Frost Cavern to give rides. Mama is fine, it's a Pokemon that loves cold climate, so maybe they sense something amiss in the Frost Cavern. And you are? My name is Trevor, I'm researching the distribution of Pokemon in the Kalos region at Pokemon Professor Sycamore's request. I see, so that's why you were walking. Walking clear out to Frost Cavern, and Mamoswine seems concerned about something over there, so be careful. I will, thank you. What are you going to do, Sparrow? Well, uh, I'm gonna go, of course. I don't think there's, there's a, probably a sky battle there, but uh, once again, not interested in sky battles, those are just pure scam. We yeah, do have another trainer in here, though. 
which is Artist Salvador. And now we have a smear goal. Crows of a friend, of course. I'm gonna go ahead and go for a surf. I'm gonna air slash me. Just no damage. That's very nice. Surf should at least do over half, right? Yeah, this is way more than over half. Jesus, almost killed him. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and click surf again, because why not? It's gonna power jam me, we resist that. Yeah, taking that like a champ. We'll surf this thing into oblivion by Go Smurgle. Smurgle, rather. Decent experience. And that is Salvador defeated. Now let's head to the Frost Cavern, shall we? Look at how beautiful this camera angle changes. And here we are, we enter Frost Cavern. And again, such an amazing cave sound. I love this one, man. Absolutely love this. I remember when these games came out, man. It was actually so hyped. First time ever we got a 3DS game, you know? And even though, yeah, the games do have their, like, their pluses and their minuses, but a lot of, a lot of people actually really didn't like the this entire gem too much. I do see why though, it seems like there were a lot of... Um, they could have done a lot more with the games, I feel like. It seems like a lot of it was cut as well. Like, there's some areas that were completely unused, some, uh, some Pokemon that were just completely unused as well. And uh, yeah, I don't know, but still, I feel like this is still one of the better generations. I actually really like X and Y. It's definitely, definitely not my most disliked one, that's not for sure. Uh, that's for sure. Um, anyways, we're in Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse is definitely something I want Scrub to have. And I'm thinking about my final move set again. And I'm pretty sure that we're gonna get rid of Aura Pulse here for Dragon Pulse. And I'm wondering why does this thing learn Dragon Pulse? You know, it's a poison water type. Well, uh, let's, let's find out, shall we? Because Scralp is evolving, and this time, we're not gonna cancel it. Dragalgi. Alright, so now we have a new Pokemon, Trigalgi. Amazing mod in my opinion, one of my favorites from this generation to be honest. And this thing is as well a very, very bulky mon, can hit pretty hard. And as you can see, he is Poison Dragon type, so we no longer have that uh, dual water type on the team anymore. We just have Poison Dragon now, which is amazing. Our team has now been fully evolved, every mon can't evolve anymore, they're all their maximum. So yeah, that's uh, pretty hype, I would say. We have Corrosive, and uh, let's keep him a front since, uh, you know, we're, we're still here, we're still rocking him. And uh, let's uh, explore a bit more of this cavern, shall we? There is actually some quite a lot of trainers in here. We're running already on 8 minutes, which means I'm gonna speed up a tiny bit. Uh, but look at Corrosive, man, he's such a beast. He's actually such a good mate, Lon. Uh, let's go straight away for the Dragon Pulse, because we're no longer weak to these electric types. I'm gonna stab Dragon Pulse, I'm gonna go for a Sludge Bomb, he's gonna tail with me, don't know why, since this thing's going down. Nice and easy like, we got a whole bunch of experience. We have a Golduck, uh, which I'm gonna switch to Flora, because I, I, I think Flora can do very good work against this Golduck here, with Magical E. Reach me. That's fine, because we outspeed. That's actually quite nice that we did get a timid nature, though. He's at least a little bit faster, because normally Flora won't outspeed uh, many mons here, but since the timid nature, she's actually going to be able to uh, just outspeed those tiny extra mons, you know? It'd be helpful. Anyways, and that's because we didn't get stab surf anymore. <laughs> that, that didn't kill him, unfortunately. That's one thing. We don't get stab serves anymore. But that's completely fine, to be honest. It's definitely, definitely completely fine. Anyways, let's keep continuing here. And we have some puzzles going on. I'm pretty sure this is just the, um, the extra route, isn't it? Let me just... Um, 
Let me actually check my sheet here, guys. Just for a second. Let's see. Okay, no, it's actually... I was completely mistaken. It's actually the other one. That has nothing. But a dire hits, alright. That's good for money, I guess. Very good for money, and that's it. Alright, so uh, let me speed up again a bit since this cave is actually quite lengthy. And we have some ice puzzles on our hands. Let's go down, up, yeah, and then we're gonna go left, right into the trainer. We got a relic hand, a cross of our front. Um, I think a surf will do decent damage. Not too much there. We got a rock too, which lowers our speed. We're actually getting low, so I'm just gonna switch to Flora Man and play safe. Don't see risking a useless death here. We get Yawn, which is quite annoying. I'm just gonna magical leave. This thing should go down. That's an easy kill. Corrosive level 50. Alright, our first level 50 mom. Right on. I'm very confident Corrosive here can finish this thing off, man. Very, very confident. Let's serve. Yeah, down goes Rhino man, that's quite effective. That's definitely not gonna definitely not gonna survive it. Uh, anyway, Corrosive has seen some uh, action, so we're gonna change him to the back. Since since he's level 50 now. And uh, I'm gonna say we're gonna keep Flora up front, because why not? Um let's see anyway to start off with I'm pretty sure we do have an awakening still, right? Yeah. It's always handy buying those early on. We're, we can we keep we can get using we can keep on using them, so that's just nice. Let's uh, use a moon milk here so we don't waste higher promotion, like I said. Um you don't need to always use that. Uh, anyways. Let's get this item which is nice and ice heal. Alright, so let's go down. And I think now we wanna go down here and to the left. Alright, new section. We got a double battle. Alright. That's interesting. Double battle. Grumpik and Hariyama. Alright, well, without further ado. Let's, uh. Oh, bro, these things are gonna get bodied. Um, we go for a Moon Blast on Hariyama. Acrobatics on Grumpik. Jesus, the Hariyama got bopped. Absolutely bopped. He's got a power gem. Ooh. Why does that thing learn? That was interesting. Alright, did not expect that. Just almost completely obliterated our talent flame right there. Flora level 49. That is amazing. Oh, Jesus Lord. Let's uh, fight this trainer now. Black Belt with his crafty. Well, this thing is gonna get absolutely blown back by our Flora here, who is now an absolute monster. Especially when he will get that more, even more amazing moveset. So even more. It's gonna be bonkers. Moonblast to throw. Survives. That's fine though. That's a thousand green. Alright. Getting some really nice, quick battles done here. Uh, let's go down. Now we get yet another karate girl. Finding all the karate girls. Got a sock. Which is definitely gonna survive because he has sturdy, so I'm just gonna dazzle and lean this thing. Poison jab, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, that hurts. Jesus. Magical leave this thing. And Mian Shao, this thing is not bulky whatsoever, so Moonblast should kill this thing for sure. Yeah, 100% should kill them. Alright, so let's heal up real quick. Uh, Moomoo Moo Milk on Flora. Let's Moomoo Moo Milk our Tempest as well. So they're both like, fully healed up again so they can continue on their fighting. Uh, we can actually surf here, right? Yeah, we can surf here. Let's see if there's anything to get with surf. Uh, that's a dead end. Oh, something to the left here. We can go down. Pull up our front. We're off. We have an ice, a sickle stone. That's probably to uh, evolve Eevee into Glacian in this game. It's 
it's a rock covered with ice. Touch it, it would make you freeze. <laughs> That's crazy. Imagine touching that for like one second and you're just dead. Just gone. Frozen solids turned into a popsicle. Anyways, let's go down here. We have more puzzles. Uh, more ice puzzles. Do have an item there. Easy to get. Just like that. Max repel. Alright, and I do remember if you go here there is Never melt ice. That's gonna boost our ice type uh, ice type moves, which we do not have because we don't have an ice type. And no ice type moves either, so yeah, that's a rip. <laughs> Anyways, let's go down into the next area. Of this bell girl, or no, she actually heals us. Yeah, she heals us. And so, guess I didn't really need to use those potions anymore. Get a hyper potion though, which is nice. Getting those back is always, always helpful. You have this hiker, I <laughs> can't feel my toes. <laughs> Alright then, you've been standing here way too long then, obviously. Flora, you can definitely handle this clever with your magical leaf. Got sturdy, of course, yes. It's gonna bulldoze me, it's gonna lower my speed. It's fine, we take it like a champ though. Absolutely take it like a champ. Anyways, nice. Flora level 50 now. Another Graveler. I'm gonna go for Black Star here. Because I wanna get everyone ready to go to get to level 50. Uh, please don't tell me these things. They're all gonna have like sturdy, right? Oh my lord. Frog Blast. Jesus, he four times. Alright, down to the Graveler, number two. Does he have Gram- Oh no, he's Carbink. That's a Rock Fairy type, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, let's surf this thing. Oh, of course. He doesn't have Sturdy, but he survives. <laughs> Bro, come on, man. Jesus. Why make life so hard, you know? Why make life so hard? Right, let's heal up real quick. Free heal, because why not, you know, always take advantage of those. And let's switch back, though. Flora to the back of the screen, or back of the team, rather. And let's move. Or not if you like, what? He didn't have the... Mm, that's what I mean, I'm just sometimes such a stupid idiot. The evil light can... Uh, it can be put away in the bag though now since we don't need it anymore. So yeah, let's uh, let's move on. Explore this cave. Pretty sure this is the last the last area where we need to be in. We need to get to the top there. That's I know nice and easy normally, but we're not gonna do that because there are some items. Can we not? No. This is gonna take me forever for some reason I can already feel it. Let's see where we can go right now. Which is a hiker. Alright. I do know there's an area we can go down below. A probo pass, alright. Definitely not the smartest thing to have out, so let's uh, switch to Goku. Power jump, yeah, definitely. A smart smash here. Aura sphere, because this thing's gonna have sturdy. And uh, start there for the message. Uh, and, uh, Facebook isn't muted, and I'm getting messages at the moment. And uh, yeah. Sorry for the inconvenience, for the noise. Uh, I'm not even gonna heal, to be honest, it's not worth it. Um, uh, we have that trainer. Girder. Alright, uh, let's acrobatics this thing into oblivion. He survived! As if he survived that. Like, honestly? Really? Like, why did a girder survive it? Acrobatics. With no held item. Now that's actually nuts. It's been a while since one of our Pokemon fainted, guys, but yeah, that's, that's, believe me. If, if Tempest is gonna die quick, it's gonna be 
due to a rock type move. Trust me. How do I get there? I think it was. Yeah, I'm getting messages again. That's to be honest, that's fine. Fine. Medicam, alive. Um, let's go for acrobatics. Kill this thing, no problem. All right. That's what I like to see, Tempest. Killing things, no problem. Me first. Don't want to learn that. Alright, so... Uh, we go down. Yes. We have a TM here, alright. We have a puzzle, though. Yeah. Frost bread. alright. Oh, I'm pre pretty sure it's a move that always crits. I think. We got a zinc. Let's see if we can uh, use those. Zinc. E, more special defense for talent flame. And uh, now let's actually head to the place that we needed to go. And sorry if you guys are still hearing the messages. I literally forgot how I got out of here. There we go. All right, but <clears throat> now. City flare members. It's really cold in here, isn't it, Sparrow? Is there something going on up ahead? This is almost always a fine specimen. It's absolutely brimming with energy. The more we agitate it, the stronger its snow warning ability becomes, making the snow fall even more furiously. That sketches swiftly and get out of here. Snow. Oh no. Hey! Pokeball thieves. <laughs> What does it look like? We're catching Pokemon. Why else would we have grabbed all those Pokeballs? It was all so we could catch power from Pokemon like this Obama Snow. It's full of potent energy. Energy? You're not the brightest one, are you? Whoever the most Pokemon and the most energy will come out on top. Lazy people who just wait for things to be handed to them don't get to have those resources. But why is Team Flare amassing Pokemon, energy and money? To put it another way, why is Team Flare always trying to take everything for itself? Allow me to spell it out for you. It's Team Flare and Team Flare can survive. Alright then, well, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, send these Guys, home. Absolutely obliterate these Team Flare members. Team Flare Grunt, he has, sends out the gold bat. Which is fine. Oh, we, we do have some lag, we do have some lag, alright. Level 42, Jesus Christ, we're highly leveled. It's gonna air cut on me, that's just fine. Uh, we're just gonna acrobatics again. Tempest, gain some XP, have a neck trick. Um, don't really have the best answer, so I'll just switch to Goku. Goku will do uh, fine enough damage anyway. A neck trick, alright. So, neck trick, let's uh, Mega Evolution and Aura Sphere. Alright, so. Aura Sphere, this buffoon! Buffoon! Alright, one shot kill. Awesome. Level 49, alright, that's nice. Grabbing to level 49 with Goku as well. And that is the Team Flare member gone out. Away. May have lost, I may have lost, but isn't this winter wonderful, wonderland beautiful? Almost as beautiful as the Team Flare pose. Almost, yeah. Hmm, you're more powerful than you look. I wonder how much energy there is inside you. Alright, Team Flare Mabel. Haven't fought her yet. She's sending out a Houndoom. We're sending out Tempest. And to be honest, I think Tempest can handle himself very well against this Houndoom. As you can see, this thing is level 48 though. Like, Team Member, Team Flare Member was level 42 and this thing is level 48. But we one shot it. Because this thing is frail as hell. And down is Marble just in one one fight, guys. That's awesome. Just one fight. <clears throat> I have no patience for losing. Let's get out of here. Doesn't battling with Team Flare scare you, Sparrow? I'll admit it scares me. I don't like battling them, but we managed to protect the Bombers from pitching in there. I know I'm the reserve time, and I'm okay with that, but it's important to be bold when necessary. Mama Swine doesn't have to worry about a Bombers not anymore, and that's what matters. All's well, that ends well. And if you talk to the Obama Snow, 
gives you the Obama side, because this thing can mega evolve. So if you're using Obama Stone on the team, be sure to grab that. And uh, let's get out of this cave, which is a very, very quick route. Just go down basically the entire time. Go down the slopes. And here we are, back outside the cave. Into the beautiful view. Repel, nope. Don't want to use one at the moment. Actually, I probably will soon-ish. Let's slide down here. That's what I love about this town. Quick shortcut here to the Pokemon Center. Because we do want to go ahead and heal ourselves. Alright, thank you for waiting. No problem. Let's uh, get the hell out of here though. And let's go down here. And now this path won't be blocked anymore because the Mammoth Swine is willing to ride. Which means now. Let's see, what do, we, what do these people want? Back Mammoth Swine. Jesus, what a text this guy had. Anyways, we're gonna ride the Mammoth Swine just like we did the Rhyhorn in the very beginning of the game. And the Go Goat as well. Let's play another Super Repel because we do need it. Um, and I'm pretty sure there are some like extra things in here. That we can, that we can get. Um, so let's go ahead and quickly get them. So we're gonna speed this up a bit since this is really not that important. It's just a very slow route. If you go left, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we get an item, and if you follow to the right path, we will have a Sky Bell Trainer. But we don't really want that at the moment. So uh, let's go back on Mammoth Swine. And we want to go down here. Alright. What do we have? Oh my lord, really? That's just a cook, isn't it? Yeah. Calcium, alright, we can increase the special attack on something. Um, let's do that. Heliolisk, why not? Right, back on the Mammoth Swine we go. Walk backwards, alright. And this will be the end. Alright, so now that we did that, Repel, we're off. Nope. We got a holo clip though. Jason, this time I challenge you to a battle in front of Anistar City Gym. Prepare yourself. Alright then, straight to the point, Selena. Serena. Damn, straight to the point. And we have another rare candy here who is just hiding away. Alright, so. Let's see, are we reaching Anastar City? I'm pretty sure that we do. And once again, we go from amazing music to amazing music. You there! I came in place to text you to tell you something. There's a person here in Anastar City who knows about the legendary Pokémon. Oh, I almost forgot, I bought you some gifts, put them to good use. Repeat balls? That's just the catch mons I already have. Alright then. So she definitely wants to tell us a story. But uh, before she tells that story, we're gonna go heal up our Pokemon. Alright, so now that we are all healed up, we are in Anastar City. Pokemon looking fresh. Two level 50s, level 49, two level 49s, and two level 48s. Alright, so yeah, in the next episode, we're gonna be exploring Anastar City. We'll be taking on uh, Serena. 
and we'll probably go ahead and take on the 7th gym as well. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed this episode, stay tuned for more XOI.